Hey there, Rockstar SLPs. This is Felice Clark, the Dabbling Speechy, and I'm here for another Google Slide techie hack that you are going to want to know when creating materials for your therapy sessions. What I love about Google Slides is that you can use them for teletherapy. You can use them also on your computer for in-person therapy. So for me, it's a win-win to make materials for my students using these. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating how I add video and how you can format video for where it should start and stop using my free holiday movie clips um, for Buddy the Elf. So if you want the, this Google slide, I will put the link to the blog post where you can get this free download. Um, and this is a demonstration to show you what you can do for your own students when inserting videos. So I'm going to play the first clip for you of this Google slide, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I put this black square over the sentence frame that I made so that if you're trying not to let your students have that visual cue, you can keep it from, you can keep them from seeing it. And then you can just move it out of the way if you want them to have that visual cue. So here is a YouTube video clip from Buddy the Elf. Now, when I right click it, and go all the way down to format options, you can see over here that I can format it so that it starts to play the video when it when I click on the, the video. I can also have it set to automatically just start playing when I get to this slide, or I can set it to manual. So I typically just put it on on click. And then the cool thing that you can do with these uh, YouTube videos is you can pick the start time and the end time. You can also click if you want it to have a muted audio. Um, and that might be a feature you want for when you're doing book read alouds with your student using YouTube videos. Um, and so basically I made this Google, this, uh, Google slide visual in PowerPoint saved it as a ping image and then uploaded it to the slide by clicking change background and choosing an image from my computer and this came up so it doesn't make anything move so the only thing that's movable is the the video and this black square so i'm going to show you what it's like when i'm wanting to make instead of using I don't want to say boring task cards and flashcards because we can, we SLPs know how to jazz up a flashcard to make it engaging. But let's say you're trying to find a way to virtually engage your students. You can now use video clips. So let's watch. You did it. Congratulations. World's best cup of coffee. So as you can see, this, this video clip is actually two minutes long and I'm using it to engage my students to talk about past tense verbs. What did Buddy do in the video? He opened the door. Now I used this two minute clip to also target jumping. Okay, so I have it starting at 42 seconds and ending at 51 seconds. And then that, then when the video pauses, it creates an opportunity for even getting a kid to comment about what's happening without me prompting them. Um, or if I'm really wanting to target just verbs, I can then go, okay, what did buddy do? And then the kid can make their sentence and then it creates a natural transition to go to the next video and keep them engaged. Cause you're like, let's see what else, he's going to do. So basically what I did was I created a visual sentence strip for every, you know, verb I wanted to target and uploaded it to the slide. But then I went over here and right clicked and duplicated the video clip many times down, as you can see, but I formatted it 
to have a different start and end time. And then I took some other video clips, as you can see, and did the same thing. So I'm gonna run through this so you can see what it looks like when you're adding in a video and adding a start and end time. So you're gonna come over here. We wanna add a new slide. Um, and I'm just going to add a new slide like this. I didn't make a new grammar backdrop, backdrop for this. So sorry about that. But then I'm going to go to YouTube and I want to do the clip when he, when Elf says you sit on a throat of lies <laughs> and I'm going to come back here, click insert, go to video. You could actually search YouTube elf clips right here, but I have the link. So I'm going to put the URL here and click select. Okay. Now I know that I want it to start at 14 seconds. So you see that this is a clip that's, you know, I want it to go for 14 seconds and I want it to end at 30 seconds. So, and I want it to play on click. So here we go. Who the heck are you? What are you talking about? I'm Santa Claus. No, you're not. Oh, uh, why, why, of course I am. Oh, 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 oh. You're Santa. What song did I sing for you on your birthday this year? Uh, oh, darn. Happy birth. So maybe I wanted it. I don't know why it didn't do that. Um, There we go, we want it to go to 35. There it is. So then it's gonna start and end at 35 and then maybe at that clip, you know, we could talk about, well, why does Buddy not think he's Santa Claus and how come he thinks that? And then you can have a discussion about, you know, what it, what what's Buddy's perspective and what what is this Santa Claus's perspective? And then you can move on to a new clip and you're gonna go over here and click duplicate slide and then you're going to come over here and right click. And let's say we want to do a new clip at 45 seconds to one minute. That will then prompt Now what can I get you for Christmas? Don't tell him what you want. He's a liar. Let the kid talk. Oh wait, hold on a second. I think it messed up. We want it to be one minute in length. I don't know why it did that. Okay, let's see. Now, what can I Paul, get you for Christmas? Don't tell him what you want. He's a liar. Let the kid talk. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Just cool it, Zippy. You sit on a throne of lies. Look, I'm not kidding. You're a fake. I'm a fake? Yeah. <laughs> I love this movie. Um, so, as you can see, it stopped. It started at 45 seconds and ended at a minute. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please leave in the comments any questions you have. And as always, be the SLP that every kid wants to see. Take care. See you later.